I hardly can see Chinese lady wearing skimpy skirt or very short pants. So what have went wrong? Yes. In your experience, can you go uh, and in direction? Tell the prospect. Uh, you see where the world is heading this past decade, this past century. So don't you think your children need to be saved from uh, this immoral world? First and foremost, they have their own worldview. What is immoral to us might not be immoral to them. What we think as immoral might not be immoral for them. I, let, let me talk about myself, my, my, my Chinese people. Chinese people are very traditional people by nature. Supposed to be. But what the Chinese today have become, they have lost the value of the Chineseness. What they have adopted is the value of the West. As far as I know, in the 90s, I hardly can see Chinese lady wearing skimpy skirt or very short pants, very, very short. And if let's say you go back into 80s as well, if you watch the previous old movie, old drama of the Chinese from China or Hong Kong, they all wear very proper. So what have went wrong? The westernizations. So when the westernizations of Hong Kong happen, they portray more and sexiness in the movie, in the drama of Hong Kong, TVB, so on and so forth. So the Chinese in Malaysia who watch that kind of movie, they start to change as well and more exposure. And because they have the mindset that, you know, the more you follow Western, the more civilized you are. Just because you can speak some English, so therefore you look smart. But they have forgotten that basically the ability to speak English is just a sign that you can speak another language. That's it. Because men, ability to speak English is not a sign of intelligence because there's a lot of stupid people in the West too who can speak English. So for the Chinese people, as I say, they do not deem that as immorality. And we have to understand what the Chinese really want in this world. Most of the Chinese never put religion as priority. And up until a certain extent, Chinese people, if let's say there are certain part of the teaching of the religion that disturb their lifestyle or not in line with their lifestyle, they will change the religion in order to proceed with their lifestyle. Don't be surprised if, let's say, you have a Chinese friend who will come to you, you know, religion is what in the heart. It's not what really practice. Because if you ask them, hey, I never so get, see you go to temple, never pray. Sister, religion is what in the heart. It's the heart that matters. As long as your heart is good, is pure, is clean, okay. Now, have you heard the same thing from the Muslim too? Because that is not the teaching of Islam. Because the Muslim will say, Yang, yang, yang penting adalah hati kita, niat kita dan sebagainya Yang penting kita ada iman No More than 80 times in the Quran Continuations of every time Allah says Ilalazina amanu wa amilu solehat Believe and do amal soleh Meaning is combined Meaning is supposed to be testimony So we have to understand One of the tactic that if you want to use to do da'wah to the non-Muslim To talk about morality issue, moral issues and so on and so forth We should understand that what is their perspective when it comes to morality. Normally, I will not use the approach of morality first. Reason being is that they come from a different spectrum. They have a different spectrum, they have a different paradigm. You see, our da da'wah is always focusing on Tawhid first. <coughs> and the part of Tawhid that we fo focus, Rububiyah, the oneness of God, the might of God, and Uluhiyah, the one that deserves to be worshipped. Single out Allah to be worshipped. And worship here also means obey. So always when we do da'wah, always focus on the Tawhid, Rububiyah and Uluhiyah. Introduce Allah. Let Allah sink in and then let them feel and understand that He is the only one that deserves to be worshipped and nothing else. He is the only one who deserves to be obeyed and nothing else.